In this video, I'm going to be covering a new feature in Revit 2026 for sheet positioning. This feature is a great enhancement for helping where you can specify where a view goes on a sheet and be able to apply it to multiple sheets and multiple views. And then when you put a view on a sheet, it will go into the same position. This will help speed up the process to make sure your sheets look good. First, I'm going to be on a sheet and I'm going to go into my view here. If I select my view, up here in the top on the ribbon there is a saved position. Then I can come in here and see if there is none but I'm going to again save this position. So I'm going to put it up here in this upper left corner. So I'm save position. I'm going to call this floor plan. So now that view is sitting in the corner and it has that saved position. Now I'm going to go to another sheet. Let's say the second floor. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to grab the level 2, and I'm going to put it on a sheet and place it. So you can see here if I try to get this lined up where I want, it may not be in the exact location, but doesn't matter. I'm going to simply go up here, go to Save Position, and pick Floor Plan. You're going to see that it moves to the correct position now within that sheet. And I can even do this before I even pull a view on a sheet. So let's show this, but I'm going to go to Level the sheet 3 here. I'm going to select level 3 and without even pulling it on sheet over here in the properties I'm going to come down to saved position and I'm going to change this to floor plan. Then I'm going to simply drag and drop onto the sheet and it instantly goes to the correct position. So you can see here now I'm saving a ton of time that I can select multiple views change them to that saved plan and let's now go to sheet for the fourth floor sorry drag on a sheet and it places it so this is making it so much simpler to pull be able to pull these views over here so this works for floor plans but it also works for ceiling plans so I'm going to come down here and grab a ceiling plan sheet and let's find our ceiling plan views. Here I'm going to select, I'm going to pull this over. I'm going to place it and I can do the same thing. Floor plan. And it moves it up to that corner. This also works for legend views. So let's say I want to grab these life safety legend. I'm going to pull it over here under the sheet and I want to put it in the upper right corner. Let's put it over here. There's there's a question mark here in the sample project. I'm going to get rid of that and let's move it up here. I'm going to position it where I want it. And then I'm going to save that position. <clears throat> then I'm going to call this the life safety legend. So now that that life safety is saved there, if I go back to any other view and I pull that on a sheet, it automatically goes to the same location on every single sheet. Currently, this does not work for things like schedules. If I select a schedule, uh, there is not the view sa settings in there. But now the other thing I can do is I can also come back in here and let's say I want to make some modifications to this. So I can come in here and edit the position I'm going to take this view and I want to move it down a little bit. Let's say I want it more in the middle of the sheet. So I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to take that title bar up here as well. Then I can finish that sheet and it's going to say, hey, I'm going to apply this to all the views that are on sheets. Do you want to continue? And I hit OK. Now if I go to sheet two, the view has been moved. Same thing applies over here. I can simply change that one as also. But one more thing about this is if I'm going to edit the position, there is also the view anchor. If I change that, I can choose where it's going to apply this, whether it's the center, the top left, the top right, the bottom right, or bottom left. This makes it easy so you can anchor it to whatever location you choose. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.